Spring is around the corner. I cannot wait for nicer weather. So let's go ahead and start with the spring and Easter DIYs. Let's go. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. Come check it out today. Don't forget, I try and link everything I use in the description box below. If I can't link exactly what I use, I'll link something as close as I can get. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Check out some of my previous videos and let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, let's get okay, started. Guys, so here's a little sneak peek at what we'll be using today. I have some Buffalo check paper and this is from Hobby Lobby. I got it when it was four for a dollar, so only 25 cents. I'm gonna use this nine by eight photo frame from the Dollar Tree. And honestly, I wanted a different frame. I wanted the wood frame that you get from the canvases, but they didn't have any in the eight by tens or even the five by sevens. They only had the really small ones. So I broke down and I got this one, which I think it'll still look nice. Just not my, uh, not the idea in my head. We're gonna use this little decoration. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the bunny off and that's what we're gonna use. I wanna check out the back to see what it's made of and then we'll decide if we're going to use the front or the back. But if we use the front, in this situation, I have to take off the glitter, which hurts a little bit, but it'll be necessary. A while back, I got this little scraper from the Dollar Tree and I've really liked it. It works really good for when I'm getting stuff off like this because then it just makes it easier. I'm gonna take this, gonna scrape the glitter off till I have a smooth surface. But if you're a glitter lover, do not fret. We will be adding glitter at the end. All right, I'm gonna work on getting the glitter off and getting a smooth surface. And I'll come back to show you what it looks like once I've painted it with this high performance Waverly Inspirations paint. It's a high performance semi-gloss in the color Fuchsia. And I've used it a couple times. I haven't been in love with it, but I like how bright it is. And I think it'll look really nice with the black and white. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it another shot. Next, I'm gonna take the inside of the frame and I'm going to trace on the Buffalo check paper the same size. I'm gonna do it on the back though because then if I mess up, you won't see the lines and even when I cut it out, you're not gonna see the lines if I'm a little off from my cuts. I put everything back into the picture that it originally came with so that you don't end up with a lot of extra space and it kind of wiggling back and forth. So this is what we have right now and I did choose to leave the matting in there also. Whoa, you guys are really close. I did choose to leave the matting in there also, uh, just because I kind of liked how it framed out and also followed along with the black and white that's in the buffalo check on the outside. I'm coming back to my bunny. I'm going to paint a layer of Mod Podge on, and then I have some hot pink glitter that I'm going to end up sprinkling all over it. I'm really excited about this because I know everybody hates glitter, but I love glitter. So I like to use a lot of glitter in my projects and it's kind of funny because I've raised my girls to love glitter and one of them has started to not like it. So we're trying to win her back over. And so this bunny for sure needs glitter. And then I'll also, like I did in the last project, my heart home decor piece, I'll go ahead and add a layer of Mod Podge on the out or on the other side and that way it won't flake all over it'll stay pretty put so we have our completed bunny and I'm just gonna use some E6000 I debated on the glue a little bit but I'm gonna use E6000 to put it onto the glass and here's a look at the final results I hope you guys enjoyed. I can't wait to do another craft with you next week, but until then, bye-bye.